So what car should we modify? If it's gonna be a new car for 2021, what are some of those vehicles? Well, here are the top 10 cars that I think we may wanna modify or we may wanna own. Let's look at it. Hey guys, and welcome back to another Talking Mods. Um, today, um, we are going to look at the top 10 vehicles that are coming out this year with the highest potential for car modifications and kind of the cars that we would want to own, right? So um, in no particular order, I'm gonna jump right into it so as to not waste your time. Let's just go with the first one, the one that we all saw the prototype last year, uh, the Nissan Z Proto. Hot car, uh, it's a replacement to the 370Z, the 350Z was a big success, so Sports compact and an affordable price point. Looks like a really cool wide body, very retro. Um, it's expected in Q2. Um, I think this is gonna be one of the top ones. And obviously, if you're modifying these cars, uh, we're happy to do so at Mod Bargains. Yeah, that's our shameless plug if you, if you needed it for these videos. Anyway, uh, so the second one, the new Ford Mustang Mach-E. Uh, this is a new one that's been announced. Uh, the performance model is going to be about 3.5 seconds. I think the uh, that's going to put it at one of the fastest Mustangs out in production. I'm expecting it to be a very good price point. Uh, it'll have the independent suspension. Uh, excited to see what Ford comes up with, especially as an EV. And if there is a tax credit on it, it only makes this car even more, uh, more desirable. So the Ford Mustang uh, Mach-E. So that's a pretty cool one. I think the GT Performance is gonna be the one to get as well. The third one, uh, this is the classic iconic for off-road. I think this is one of the best in the off-road. It's expected to come out this year. It's the Jeep Wrangler 4XE. Another, um, you know, this is I believe a hybrid electric uh, with a gas. This is gonna be a very interesting one. It has a lot of torque. Could be a real, uh, real next step up for the Jeep. So in the Jeep community, Tons of modifications will be available. I think that's another exciting one. Very affordable price point from what I've seen. And this one I'm really excited about. I think it looks amazing, looks great. Number four, Ford Bronco, especially the two-door version. It looks incredible. I think it looks really nice. The four x four capabilities are gonna rival the Jeep. I think there's a real, uh, Ford's got a, another home run on this one. It looks really, really cool. I like it. Obviously tell me what you guys think. All right, now, high performance, number five. This one's, I think, super exciting. Probably maybe one of the last great NA uh, naturally aspirated motors that we're gonna have. The new Porsche 992 GT3 that's gonna be coming out this year. I believe the GT3 is scheduled to be about 162,000, but there's gonna be a six speed and there's gonna be the dual clutch. I think those are gonna be, well, first of all, they look amazing from the pictures I've already seen. It looks incredible. I think that's gonna be, if you can afford it, that's a heck of a sports car. That might be one of the, the last great um, naturally aspirated. Um, expected this year, it could be a 2022 release, but it's expected at the end of this year. It's the, the new version of the FT86 or the FRS, the BRZ. It's going to be the new Subaru BRZ. So uh, bigger motor, more power, which is always needed. It's still going to be a stick shift. It's going to be very affordable. It's a great platform to modify, lots of support in the aftermarket community. I think that's gonna be another uh, very, very, very big deal. If it does come out this year, I think we'll see a lot of support coming out for that one. Uh, number seven, I think this will surprise you guys. Expect it again at this end of this year. Pictures look amazing. It's the new Genesis GV70 SUV. I think it looks great. Really, really sleek styling, kind of has that Italian flair to it. If you're thinking about an SUV, 375 horsepower, twin turbo uh, V6. Uh, it's got the limited slip, adaptive suspension. I think this one could be a sleeper and a home run. Uh, I really like what they're doing and usually Hyundais are very affordable. That's a really interesting one. Number eight, it's the return of the Hummer EV. Uh, it's expected at a thousand horsepower, over a thousand horsepower. It's a three motor. It's expected at the uh, fall of this year. So for sure, they, they have said for sure it's coming out the fall. It's expected to have the range as well. So GM is coming out hitting strong in their EV platform. And it's the off-road. You know, you've got the off-road, you've got the horsepower, you've got the range. Um, it looks like it has a lot of extras in it. Could be a really big deal. This is one to watch for this year. 
And what I really like also is that it'll qualify for the section 179. And if we get the tax credit, this could be a very affordable, um, even though it's gonna be 120,000, with all the little tax credits, it could be very affordable as well. And that kind of leads me to number nine, the Tesla Cybertruck. Another one that could be very affordable, and that's expected at the end of 2021 for those who have placed their pre-order. So I believe the pre-orders are gonna be the ones that are gonna get it first. Um, it does look really ugly um, right off the bat, but I think with um, some modifications, um, this one has a high potential. High potential will be a really great looking car. I think this can be a platform, especially because it's coming out as a very, very stock basic, that one uh, vehicle that we could really, really modify. So that was number nine. And number 10, um, this one I think looks really cool. I've already seen it. It's already out. It's the Land Rover Defender. Um, Off-road capabilities are awesome on it. Um, it's doing uh, some amazing stuff out there. Uh, it looks really, I think it looks pretty sleek. Um, it does look a little plasticky, but I think it's just the, the paint job that I saw it on. But um, it's got a turbo four cylinder. It also comes in a six cylinder. Very affordable. I think it comes out at around 47,000 and you're getting a very premium luxury off-road vehicle uh, that I think just looks great. So that was my top 10. I'm gonna give you number 11 because there's a big possibility it comes out. And if it does come out, it deserves to be in the top 10. But again, it's questionable. A little bonus here. If the Civic sedan comes out, uh, well, that's obviously a huge platform. I mean, we've had, what, 30 years of modifying the Civic. Obviously the community is gonna continue. The Civic never stops. We will always, as an industry, always be modifying that. It always has its potential. So the next Civic sedan. And I had to throw this in because this is my personal favorite coming out this year. It requires no modification though. Um, it's the Gordon Murray T50. My personal favorite, I love this thing. I can't wait to see the numbers that it puts down on um, and the reviews that come out when people actually get to drive it or who own it. Um, I've been watching as this car develops. This is my personal favorite. I've been watching it since last year and Gordon Murray, legendary designer, um, car builder. So. This one's really cool um, if you are watching, for, watching supercars. So guys, that's the top 10. What do you guys think are the cars that, to look for? Obviously, I'll be looking for the comments below from you guys, and I appreciate your time. I'll see you guys on the next Talking Mods.